One thing I always wondered was how do we inspire our students? Inspiration is not something that you can just decide one day, I'm going to inspire you because something different inspires every student. So one of the things I did to figure this out for myself was I actually went and visited several schools that were consistently putting out music at a high level, but more importantly, were graduating students that had developed a lifelong passion for playing music, um, or at least uh, listening to music and, and kept music a part of their life by choice. So some of the things that I learned from those schools was th that students that were inspired tended to attend live concerts by choice. Um, they tended to share recordings with each other and they would seek out performance opportunities outside of school. Some of the things that I've done to accomplish that, that I think all educators can bring into their classroom, is first purposely eliminating barriers to learning. Some ways that we can do that is first making sure that students' basic needs are met. So I have, um, I provide snacks um, throughout the building um, that students can access at any time if they're here practicing a lot or whatever. Um, and my wife actually put together a closet of um, uh, necessities um, like shampoo, toothpaste, that kind of thing. Another thing I do is support them musically and emotionally. So if a student needs to talk, they know that they can come to me. It's a safe space. They can share things with me. Um, and supporting them musically, in other words, differentiating instruction. So meeting the students exactly where they are, not talking over their head to, you know, make myself feel smart or something like that. Um, and then playing music with them and for them, bringing myself to their level and supporting them in that way. Um, Another thing that I find is when the students are starting to, what I call catch the bug, they're starting to get real excited about music, they will start going out to like the jazz clubs, the local, you know, places that they can go to hear jazz if they're involved in the jazz band or something like that. Um, and they will start finding ways to take ownership of the music and the ensembles, which is a good thing. Um, so... Anything that you can do to inspire them to do that. One thing that I did was I put together this online listening list where the students would upload music um, links to recordings that they enjoyed. And now it's getting to the point where I will show up to an ensemble with a few songs that I would like to play through. And um, I'll be surprised because a couple of students have showed up with their own um, compositions or arrangements that they would like to play through that they went and arranged or composed um, on their own, which is super exciting. And we will always play whatever it is that they've put together for us to play. One of my students was real excited last week because he reached out to the um, to an artist, a very well-known music artist that had written a song that he loved. And the guy said, yeah, of course you can arrange my song. So uh, he did and we played it and it's he's real excited about it. Um, one thing also I think it's important to remember as educators is that we don't have to conform to uh, ideas of traditional instrumentation or society's standards of, of norms. Um, it's okay to have a saxophone section in your orchestra. It's okay to have strings and um, double reeds uh, in your jazz band and French horns and this kind of thing. Um, I got turned away from playing in a jazz band in middle school because I played clarinet, because I didn't know saxophone, because I picked the wrong instrument. Uh, students should never have to deal with that. So being inclusive and remembering that that we don't have to look the way that that, you know, that other directors might expect. So for example, my jazz band is more like a glorified combo where we play music that has African roots and music that has Latin American roots. The students choose the music. This last semester, we were playing R&B, we were playing soul, we were playing rock, and we were also playing jazz and swing. Um, and in addition to that, we were playing music with Latin American roots. So um, we did a couple of songs where the students had to sing in Portuguese and um, we played salsa. Um, we were playing Afro-Cuban music. So it's really very exciting when the students start taking ownership and they start inspiring each other.